Hi, I'm Maya and I am here. Here's my hands. I'll just run around the front of the camera. Hi, I am here. Hello. And today's video is going to be my updated makeup collection. This is also a collab with The Life of Liv. She's also doing the same video, so the link to hers will be in the description. If you just saw my hands there, you saw me do a really sassy pose. Just as a disclaimer, as everyone bloomin' does, this isn't a bragging video. I am just showing you my makeup because some people like that. <laughs> Starting off with my little area. I use this as my current background for my video, so I like to have it all pretty and nice. And then I'm gonna pan, I'm gonna pan. I have this kind of vanity thing. And my parents surprised me with this bad boy and I absolutely absolutely love it. It's from Next I think and it's just really pretty and white and I like it. <laughs> so as you can see this is my first little area on the left of my little vanity thing that I've got going on and here I just have my beauty blender because I use it every day so it just kind of made sense to have it right on top so I can just pick it up whenever I want and then I have my perfumes, I have my library of fragrance one, benefit one, some one direction ones, you know the drill one direction fangirl you've seen the videos. <laughs> so this here is my collection of face brushes that I use on an every day basis. This pot's just a really little cute one from Ikea. That was only a couple of quid. And the brushes I have are mainly Zoeva. The rose gold brushes. These are my favourite ones. I have the silk finish brush. I have just the kind of 12 collection set. And some Eco Tools brushes. I absolutely love these for discount brushes. Bare Minerals, uh, Real Techniques are my favourites. A contour brush and that's basically all the brands I have for my brushes. And then back here I just have my eye brushes, some like hair bobbles and scrunchies and my dry shampoo when my hair gets all greasy. <laughs> For my eye brushes, they're just in a little cute mug with a little kind of sweater thing on that I got for Christmas from one of my friends. And I have a huge assortment of eye brushes. Again, I have some Zoeva ones that I got in the set. I have some W7 ones. It's a fake Bobbi Brown brush, but it's really, really good and I love it. And my favorite brush of all time is the eyebrow brush by Tarte, best thing ever. And this, everybody, is my current makeup collection. I'll just insert a clip here of what my last makeup collection video was and what my collection was then, because oh my God, had they grown. I won't show you all of my things like this because it'll just be a bit too crap so I'm gonna bring everything out and show you individually because as you can see all my makeup separated into different compartments it is nothing special it is literally plastic like takeaway containers from the pound shop but it's actually really really good there because they have some kind of normal takeaway containers but they're extra deep but it's just a really easy simple way of separating everything okay let's get more in depth okay down the side here is where I store all of my lipsticks they're all stored in just the acrylic kind of lipstick containers that slant up that you can find like everywhere I'll leave a link to where I got mine in the description if you see my last makeup collection you'll know I went to a car boot sale and I actually got a few fake MAC lipsticks but they were actually turned out to be like really really good ones like that you can see i've used that quite a lot but it's a really nice color so i have a few of them i have my rimmel lipsticks here like the 45 nude one and the 410 again i have some more rimmel ones that i don't really use that much just kate lipsticks are my fave <laughs> then i have some makeup revolution ones they're in more dark colors i think this is 100 percent vamp and that's rebel my favorite lip gloss of all time bare minerals lip gloss in rosé you know i love these this is jlo's nude and julianne's nude i use jlo's nude all the time and it's actually matte and i actually didn't know until i went to the shop i have some natural collection ones and my essence ones that are my favorite i love essence and it's so cheap and then here i have my nyx butter glosses this one is creme brulee oh, shut up for and this one is tiramisu but unfortunately <laughs> broke my heart when it broke and then i have two actual real mac lipsticks like oh my god i actually did it this is candy yum yum I, as you can tell i don't really use it much because it's such a damn bright color like whoa and i also have saint germain and then i still have my two l'oreal infallible lip lacquers i think they are back here it's hard to see i mostly have lip glosses like i have my lime crime velveteen in salem i have my tanya burr lip gloss in berry picking and then i just have a few more lip arms and stuff that I don't really use back there as well. First thing that I'll take out and show you is my bronzers, blushes and highlighters little thing. So first things I can see I have the High Beam, Moon Beam and Benetint little samples from Benefit. I have my absolute favourite palette in the world right now. It's a blush and bronze palette by Estee Lauder. How cute are those colours? Then I have my favourite highlighter which is the Bare Minerals Illuminating Mineral Veil so it's all glittery and nice. Favourite bronzer NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer uh bare minerals mineral veil in bronzing mineral veil it's like the deluxe tub it's huge i have the bare minerals bronzer in warmth which is like really good for bronzing can you can you sense a trend of brand here i have another estee lauder compact i'm loving estee lauder at the moment i 
This is a cream blush, it's used a lot as you can tell, love it. And very light. I have Benefit Coralista blush, absolutely love this. It smells lovely as well. And I have a few natural collection blushes, Beach Melba. Okay, next I have my primers and random kind of lip glosses and lip liners and stuff. I'm gonna bring that out now. Okay, so for primers, I have my Benefit Professional, love this. My Nivea Pore Shave Balm, we all know I love it. I've got a massive video on that. Prime Time by Benefit, probably my favorite one, it is so good. Got Mini Pore Professional, Mini Mac Prep and Prime that I got for free, a Mini Estee Lauder Mattifying Prime that you get for free at their booths now, and a Revlon Photo Ready Primer. And for lip liners, MAC Lip Liner and Spice, I love that. Topshop Lip Contour Lip Pencil, oh my god, it's favorite thing ever, such a natural color. Estee Lauder Stay In Place Lip Pencil in Wine. Oh, a cheeky eye pencil's made its way in here, I'll have to move that. I have a few more Estee Lauder Lip Pencils in Natural Rose, Mocha, and what's this one, Apple Cordial. Benefit Rush Hour kind of lip and cheek tint thing, it's a really pretty color, really natural. A NYX lip gloss, sheer gloss thing. A Rimmel Exaggerate lip liner in Red Diva. I love this for red lips. And the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer. Now I'm going to do my eyes and eyebrows compartment, which is down here. Okay, let's dig in. I have a sample of the Gimme Brow. I have a bigger sample of the Gimme Brow. Love the damn Gimme Brow. Favorite thing ever, oh my God, NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. You can see how and used it is, that's disgusting. But I use it every single day. It's the best eyebrow product. Freedom Eyebrow Pomade, also have a video on this. It'll all be linked in the description. The Maybelline Brow Drama Brow Mascara. And I have a quite big sample of the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Not really keen on that. It's my new love. It is the Mali Eyelining System in Chris Black. It has like a white eyeliner and a black one and it's powder and it's just so pigmented and really, really nice for a more natural eyeliner look. Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen Waterproof. Really good, stays on really well. Makeup Revolution Ultra Brow Arch and Shape Eyebrow Pencil. That is my fave. L'Oreal Colorish Coal Eyeliner Pencil. Soap and Glory Super Cut Eyeliner. Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. It's like a coal one, really pigmented. My absolute fave, Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in Black Ink. This is the best gel eyeliner in the world, like seriously. L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim. It's running out, uh, RIP me. I have a Duo Dark Tone Glue and a Mini Duo Clear Glue. Time for the mascara and concealer section down there. Love that one as well. Okay, I'll start with mascaras. This is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Mascara, probably my favourite one ever. I've had it for like years, probably out of date, but I love it. The Givenchy Phenomenize Mascara, the Maybelline Last Sensational Waterproof Mascara, as you might have seen my mum's makeup challenge video, I stole it off her. <laughs> she let me, it was consensual. I have a Lush Mascara from Lush Oxford Street. Mini Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, absolutely love that. I have a sample of the Dimensions de Chanel. And last but not least, I have the Benefit There Real Mascara. Now on to concealers. My favorite one ever, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. My my shade is Fair Neutral, which is the lightest one. Oh, shocker, because I'm like a ghost. And then I have the Maybelline Instant Erase Eye Concealer in Light. Love this for just normal correcting. The NYX Eyeshadow Base is also in here because it looks like a concealer, but this is really good. Mine's in skin tone. Also the NYX Full Coverage Concealer, which is like really, really heavy duty, but it's easy to cake, so. Then I have the NYX Hit HD concealer, which I absolutely love. That's just below the Urban Decay concealer. Love it. And the LA Girl Pro Conceal, everything that people say about this is so true. I love it. Last but not least, the W7 Go Corrective Concealer in green for when I have massive big old pimples on my face. Carrying on, I have the like single eyeshadow and eye products kind of draw thingy here. This is probably my favorite single eyeshadow I've ever owned. It's the NYX Single Eyeshadow in Taube. It's such a good transition shade. Love it to pieces. I have the Bobbi Brown Single Eyeshadow in Rich Espresso, which is good for like dark defining. Wet and Wild Walking on Eggshells palette, really, really good, really, really cheap. The Bare Minerals palette in The Truth, and the other one is later on to be shown. The Makeup Revolution Aqua Seal Liquid Eye Primer, I could not stress to you, that is so amazing. The Benefit Show Offs kind of eyeshadow highlighty powder thing. It doesn't really have a purpose, it's just cool. Love this one as well, MAC Prolong Wear Eyeshadow in One To Watch, another great warm transition colour. A Body Shop Shimmer Cubes. The NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, it's a cult favourite, we all know it guys, we all know it. Calvin Klein Eye Base 17 kind of glitter eyeshadow, love that one. Got another MAC one in Derange, which is like an orangey colour. Uh, Benefit Luster Duster in Punk Royalty, what a cool name. 
Larry M. Dazzle Dust in 101, which is like a really good gold, which I did in my kind of dragon special effects makeup. Loved it. As you can tell, I like eyeshadow. <laughs> Next, I have my powder little section, which is here. There's not much in it, but it's like really good. Okay, so the first thing you can see is the Freedom Pro Studio Fixing Spray. It's the only kind of setting spray I have, so I use it every day, nearly empty. And then at the front, I have a mini Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil. I have a bigger version of the Mineral Veil, just so I can, you know, top up. One of my current favourites, it is the Smashbox Halo to Go Hydrating Perfecting Powder in Fair. It's like one of those grinder ones. It's like really, really cool and it gives quite a bit of coverage. NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. Really, really like this if you want a bit more coverage. Then I have the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation in NW15. I love this two pieces, as you can probably tell. <laughs> and lastly, I have my Stargaze a White Powder. It's literally a white powder. <laughs> the next one is my absolute favourite compartment foundations there's a lot as you can tell i'm a foundation junkie so let's get into it so let's try not to spill everything because it is a possibility a very high possibility so i have my stargazer white foundation which i use for mixing i have the clinique even better makeup in zero one alabaster i haven't actually tried this yet i'm really excited to try it though so i've got that to start using I have the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream, my favourite BB cream ever, absolutely adore it. I have the Bare Minerals Original Foundation in Fairly Light when I am a bit more tan because it's a bit too dark for me when I'm normal skin. <laughs> oh my god, my favourite at the moment. This is the Max Factor CC Cream. It has really, really good natural coverage and it just stays on all day. I have the Bare Minerals Original Foundation in Fair which I use a lot because it's my actual colour. Another one of my favourites, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation really really good for oily skin and it's quite full coverage so it's like nice i have a mini estee lauder double wear sample that they have free at their counters l'oreal infallible mattifying foundation forgot forgot the word wow then i have the mac prolonged wear waterproof foundation i personally like it a lot better than the non-waterproof one then i have the covergirl outlast stay fabulous foundation my boyfriend got this from me from america l'oreal true match foundation it was in the makeup products i'd hate video yep i just Keep it in here for my special effects makeup and the last thing i have is the rimmel lasting finish 25 hour nude foundation actually really don't know why it's still in here it's probably gone monkey my first makeup palette ever the emmy wear undress palette it's actually really really good for a drugstore product so if you want a good eyeshadow palette for not much money this one is the way to go a really really old number seven palette with like lip glosses and eyeshadows and stuff in look broken mirror i used this when i was like seven and i still have it which i suppose is pretty cute next i have my favorite eyeshadow palette the makeup revolution beyond flawless palette it's not the matte version it's the shimmery matte mixed one really really good also really cheap this is eight pound absolutely love it use it so much i then have my bare minerals palette in the nude beach again not my favorite but really really pretty color so i use it quite a lot anywhere then i have my urban decay naked basics palette I think it's free got it from a car boat sale but hey pretty colors <laughs> Then I have the W7 in the buff palette. I think it's a dupe to the naked one palette anyway. The quality of the eyeshadows is really good and again, a really cheap drugstore product. And last but not least, I have my Saffron Contour Kit, which was, again, in the full face of makeup products that I hate. For special effect, it's not the worst thing in the world. Forgot to mention, but also in my top drawer, I have my Airspun Extra Coverage Powder from America. Best powder ever. Use it for everything. Use it for baking. Best thing ever. So this is my finished makeup tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to me now if you haven't already. It's just a little red button below this video, and it's completely free, and it will help me so much. Thank you very, very much for watching, and make sure to go in the description and watch my collab video to this video and i hope you enjoyed have a nice day i'll see you later bye omg it's maya she has sorted out a certain attire with makeup moments lifestyle too you'll never get bored omg it's maya